Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome to the Road Booba the Garage. Uh, whether you're new or you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming by. Today we are on to the second half of this plasma table build. So uh, let's just get into her and make this thing happen. So it would appear that I need to pick up a new uh, center bit for my hole saw there because that one's got a little bend in there. Anyhow, um, the plans recommend you make this piece out of aluminum. I don't have any aluminum this size. It's for weight reduction. I understand where the boys are coming from with that. I'm going to take my chances with this um, and hopefully it doesn't cause me any grief. But uh, to follow the plans properly, you should be making this out of aluminum. I'm just going to do it with steel. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is part of the problem with getting old. It kind of sucks. I can barely read a micrometer anymore, so I have to do like what Paul does on Fab Rats there and just use the eyecrometer because I can't read the micrometer anymore. Stupid old eyes. Cutting out these little pieces are time consuming, but uh, they're kind of the key parts to make this thing work. That's for the belt tension. That should work good. You pick up some washers for that. Probably be fine without, but. So I went and I assembled those, uh, I guess you call them idlers on here. Just assuming they were going to be the same as this access here. Well, don't assume because I put those on there wrong. I need to fix that. So this is really coming down to the finishing touches here. This is almost a done deal, which is kind of exciting. Gotta fight with these little tiny washers a bit more. <laughs> we are a challenge, these little buggers. Oh. Okay. I haven't found a really <laughs> simple way to put these little washers in there. Just gotta fight with them a little bit. As I talk with one of my mouth, mumbling away like a fool. I am really excited to have this thing working. It will be super cool to have this bad boy up and running. Okay, get in there. Careful. Easy. Okay. <laughs> Yay, victorious. Only uh, three more to go. for now. And just eyeballing it, I think I got it pretty gosh darn close. I might just even go with that. Let's see here. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. That's uh, pretty close. I just don't know how there doesn't seem to be any play in there. I'm not sure how snug I should have these set screws. I'm gonna give them just a little bit more, I think. Well, that works nice and smooth, so that makes me pretty happy. I don't know. I don't want those standoffs to turn. The clearance on this guy. I had a washer on this bolt under here and it was interfering. That's how tight the clearances are. But took the washer out and now it's working fine. Oh, 
that moves nice. So there we have it. Very exciting, we're almost there. So this thing is really getting uh, to the very finishing touches here. I'm gonna put this belt on here. The one thing I'm not sure about this, this belt is, uh, I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to programming this, it makes me very nervous. That's definitely out of my realm. I'm not sure where this should be positioned when I put the belt on. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be all the way to one side or the other or in the center. So I'm just gonna put it on and we'll just see how this turns out. Okay, so today I'm going to start wiring up this uh, this plasma table here. Uh, so I got the separate motor drivers, uh, Adreno, uh, a little relay to activate the uh, the torch on the plasma cutter, power source. I bought these little guys off of Amazon. I was going to plan on mounting everything in here that, in this plastic ammo case. It's you know somewhat watertight. And I can mount these guys, and this is like plug in for my motors and for the wires that are going to go to the plasma cutter. Uh, yeah, so I only have uh, three or four different colored wires to work with, so I have to keep track of some of this in my, in my head because uh, obviously I don't have all the pretty colors like what are in the uh, wiring diagram that this came with, but I'm sure we can figure it out. So I uh, got all my stuff wired up here. I mounted on this piece of wood. These are the connectors that are gonna go through this. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna use this uh, ammo box here, this plastic ammo box. These guys will go through and uh, one's for each motor. I have a connector here and I have for uh, what's gonna go to the plasma torch. Those are gonna go to the box. Right now I'm just looking up the power source. Uh, say everything's gonna go through the box like that. And uh, yeah, so. Let's just keep going. So like I said earlier, I use this ammo box for all my uh, electronics and wiring and stuff like that. So I have like, uh, so then I have the output for the X access motor and the Y access motor. Uh, this is gonna go to the plasma cutter to light up the torch. And this is for future use, which I do plan on adding the Z access to this. But for right now, I just wanna get it running. So anyhow, this is what it looks like inside. I just uh, mount everything on a board screwed the board to the box and power source at the bottom and uh, yeah that should work and it should keep it uh, pretty watertight so one of my fears i had with this thing was uh, issues with the programming and i am having issues with the programming i can't seem to get this arduino uh, flash properly um, i'm not very good with computers my buddy james is coming over here to help me out with that he seems to think it's just a matter of installing some drivers in my laptop and we should be good to go so hopefully james can figure this out and i'll be rolling shortly so my friend james came over uh, try to help me get this uh, arduino flashed and uh, we tried a couple of different laptops and we just were not having any luck with that uh, he figured it would just be some drivers you'd have to install and that didn't seem to fix it so he ended up taking it home, hooking it up to his PC, which is far more advanced than our laptops. And he managed to get it to flash. And before you know it, this thing was up and running.
attempt. <laughs> oh, that's not the best place for that mirror now either. Here's where I'm at. Uh, this thing is uh, working really good. Uh, I got the Y axis operating properly, and the X axis is operating properly. It uh, wants to find its zero. It's making a liar of me. There you go. Now it wants to find its zero. So that's all good. Uh, let's simulate the job here and see how she goes. Right. So. Uh, it's doing its thing. It looks like it's doing the right thing in my mind. The programming on this threw me for a bit of a loop. My buddy James pulled my butt out of the fire. I knew that was going to be a bit of an issue for me when I took this project on, but uh, it is working good. I think it is time to tear this guy apart, put some paint on it, hook up a plasma torch, and really put it to the test. So uh, if you're considering building a plasma table, go to JD. Uh, garage and get yourself a set of plans, man, because if I can build this, you can build this. It's not that hard. Their plans are pretty simple to follow. They make it pretty easy. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a like, give it a subscribe. It helps my channel grow. Give me a comment. And uh, so I'm going to thank you all for watching. Take it easy and have a good one.